So in this problem, we're told that a particle is moving with the given data. Find the position of the particle. We're told that V of t is equal to 1.5 times the square root of t, S of 16 is equal to 66, and we're trying to find S of t. So recall from earlier sections that the derivative with respect to t, so basically this is the, der the derivative of a position function, so like the derivative of S of t, which is a position function, is going to be equal to a velocity function. So what that also means is that if we take the antiderivative of a velocity function, we'll get a position function. So keep that in mind for when we solve this problem. So we're told that v of t is equal to 1.5 times the square root of t. But instead of writing the square root of t, I'm going to write it as t to the 1 half, because the square root of t is just equal to t to the 1 half, and it just makes it easier to solve. So what they're asking for us for is s of t. And so we can find s of t by taking the antiderivative of v of t. So let's just go ahead and do that. So what is the antiderivative of 1.5 times t to the 1 half? Well, let's find the derivative of t to the 1 half first. So t to the 1 half, the antiderivative of it, is going to be equal to t to the 1 plus 1 half, so to the 3 over 2, and then we divide by that. So divided by 3 over 2, which is basically 2 over 3 times t to the 3 over 2. Then we're multiplying by 1.5. So if we multiply this by 1.5, 2 times 1.5 is going to be 3. So this is going to be equal to 3 over uh, 3 times t to the 3 over 2. So this just cancels, becomes 1. So this is just t to the 3 over 2. And then whenever we take the antiderivative of something, we got to add plus c. So s of t is equal to t to the 3 over 2 plus c. But then um, we need to find what c is in order to solve this question. So they tell us that s of 16 is equal to 66. So if we just plug in 16 for t and then set it equal to 66, we can find what c is. So 66 is equal to 16 to the 3 over 2 plus c. So 16 to the 3 over 2 is going to be equal to 64. So we have 66 equals 64 plus c. Then if we subtract 64 from both sides, we'll get that c equals 2. So now we got c, we just got to plug it in, and that's going to be our answer. So s of t is going to be equal to t to the 3 over 2 plus our c, and we know that c is 2, so just plus 2. And that's going to be the answer to this question.